Hello my dear family members, today I am going to share both coding questions which were asked on Accenture on campus 6th August 2023 which will be very important for this Accenture drive. Okay, so let's get started. So the first question was regarding print first keywords. Okay, so you have to print the first keywords. So I am not reading the questions. The gist of the question is this. If the input is this, please subscribe Techno UF and UBK Anna channel. This is the string is the input and the K is equal to 4. Then the output should be first four words. Okay, that means please subscribe Techno UF. Okay, so output should be this. If let's say input is 8, then output should be the whole. Okay, that means first K words that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 okay so these eight words will be printed so i hope you understood okay and uh, you have to check the negative test case as well that means let's say the total strings length is eight and i am trying to print first nine words then this will not be okay that means you have to print minus one okay so i am not checking that condition so i am giving you that task please do that okay i'm showing you all those answers in python and java both so wait for the second questions as well which is advanced coding questions so at first i'll solve the problem in java then i'll solve the problem in python as well okay so just wait and uh, what should be our approach to the solution so what can i do that is let's say this is the string okay so if we split the string on the basis of spaces then uh, whenever the spaces comes the strings will be splitted and this will becomes an array or a list okay so the array will be looks like uh array will looks like this there will be a space between uh, there will be a comma between all the spaces and there will be quote as well okay there will be quote as well but i'm not giving as of now so the converted string will be look like this okay so from this string as you have splitted the strings these strings on the basis of spaces then this becomes a array of strings array of strings okay now we have to run a for loop up to k value okay up to k value okay so if we iterate up to k that means 4 and we are just printing like a array i element then will get our desired output okay so i hope you understood okay let's start with the java solutions so that it will be more easier to you to understand okay so just wait i'll show you the python solutions as well and also wait for the next coding questions which is advanced coding okay so before i show you the solutions please i'm recommending you to have the prime materials of accenture or any company that you want which will be very much helpful for your upcoming campus exam because all the previous coding questions will be asked in this exam okay so please consider this okay so to get that knock me at my study instagram.com slash techno.tf okay so uh, let's start with the main function so let's say this is the string and k value is given here and i'm just taking a hard input not the user input okay so in the exam actually you will be given this main method you don't have to do anything with the main method okay and most probably in uh, in case of pattern based questions there can be main function uh there there may not be main function okay in case of pattern based questions so please be mindful about that okay so just i am calling the function and printing that whichever it is returning okay so let's see the implementation of the function so this is a static method so that we don't have to create object of that class and so that we can get direct access of this method from the main method okay and the method get first k words it is taking two arguments that is a string s and int k up to which we are printing the array okay now we are splitting the strings on the basis of spaces and the strings will look like this this array okay string will look like this array having quotes of each okay and we are checking the base condition if k that is uh, this value it is it greater than the length of that string or greater than the length of that array if this then we are reinitializing the length of that k is equal to words dot length this will be the actual length okay and we can also return minus one uh, as you wish okay so do it accordingly the exams requirement okay now we are running a for loop for int i is equal to zero i less than k that means we are 
printing we are going to print all the first k element okay first k words then result dot append so for this method in build method we are using string builder class okay and the string builder class will make the string mutable okay the string is immutable in java but i will make we will make the string mutable using string builder okay so this append method will append the element of that like words i this string will be appended inside the result okay now we are checking if i less than k minus 1 that means if i is last element then we don't have to print a space or we don't have to append a space and if i is not last element then append a space okay that means if i is the this element then we we have to print or append a space like we, between this and if i is the last element that means for k is equal to 4 la the last element will be uf so for this condition we don't have to print a space because this is the last element so you don't have to print a space so i hope you understood okay now we are just returning the result dot two string so that result string builder will be considered as two string okay so i hope you understood so let's run it and check if this is giving right output or not so for this uh, k is equal to 4 the output should be please subscribe techno uf and for k is equal to 8 the output should be full like please subscribe techno uf and uvk on the channel okay so i hope you understood actually the input was different but still i'm taking this for understanding okay so let's go to the python solution so this is quite same as java so at first uh, we are going from the main method so this is the uh, string and this is the k value and we are just calling the function and printing whatever it is returning okay text is the string and k is the value of the integer okay so first k words this is taking two arguments s and k string and the k value and we are uh, splitting the s string on the basis of spaces whenever spaces occurs it splits okay and it is returning a list of string okay list of strings and it is storing in this variable words this is a list in this case okay then we are using the slicing method so words is the list and we are getting from 0 to k element okay 0 to k element that means uh, this 0 and the k element is in this case 8 so up to this we are printing we are getting fetching okay we are fetching all these elements and returning uh, the list okay returning the list so first k will be a list okay in this list we are storing or fetching all these okay then we are using the dot join method which is joining all the strings of list in a in the form of a string in the form of a string okay and having a space between them okay so i hope you understood and returning the result which is a string now okay so we are converting the list to string using the join method okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the compilation okay so i hope this will be fine so as you can see for k is equal to 8 the output is please subscribe techno ef and ebk anna channel and for k is equal to 4 the output would be please subscribe techno ef okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the next question or the advanced coding questions that was regarding bulbs okay in light bulbs are connected by a wire each bulb has a switch associated with it however due to faulty wiring a switch also changes the state of all the bulbs to the right of current bulb given an initial state of all bulbs find the minimum number of switches you have to press to turn on all the bulbs you can press the same switch multiple times and note that zero represents the bulb is off and one represents the bulb is on okay so as 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 soon as we get the example we'll get understand okay just wait so basically what's the task the task is we have to check if the current bulb is off then we have to turn on and as soon as we turn on the bulb the all other bulbs will be uh, will be swiped that means if those are on then those will be off and if those are off then this will be on okay so let's go to the example so that this will be easier to understand okay so zero means off and one means on okay so the bulbs are zero one zero one so off on off on the output is four how i am explaining so at first we are 
at first we are checking that if the first element first bulb is off or not so if it, it is off okay so as it is off so we have to on it okay we have to on it so we have made it on and we have to increase the count so at first we get the count one now as we tap the switch then we have to transfer transpose all the values after that so one becomes zero zero becomes one one becomes zero okay so count is now one and then we are checking if the next bulb is on or off so we are checking that and we check that this is off so we have to change this also so we we have changed this and also as we have turned on one switch then we have to transverse all the remaining bulbs so one becomes zero zero becomes one okay so then in the next iteration in the next bulb we are checking if it is off or on so it is off so we have to convert that to on so zero becomes one and we have to change the state of the next bulb so one is become becoming zero okay so that's how it's the count becomes three and in the next iteration the remaining bulbs is alone now so that's why we have to change that state so zero becomes one and if this would have been this would have been uh, one then we had to skip that okay so as we have to change the state so we have to increase the count so count will become four okay so i hope you understood so in the second example so one zero 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 so in this case the first bulb is on already so we have to skip that and for this case for this case we check that uh it this is off so we have to change the state of this so we change the state state of this and this becomes one as we have tap on then we have to change the state of all the other remaining bulbs at the, at the right side so this all becomes one so just switching once time once we get all the bulbs on okay all the bulbs on so that's why that's why the count is one and output is one as well okay so i hope you understood what's the task is so basically i am going to solve the problem in java and python both so please wait i'll give you the solutions and explanation as well so please wait okay so what i will do at first i will run a for loop and we will check if the current element is off or on not that means if this is equal to zero then we'll reinitialize the value of that uh, that position as one and we'll also will also reverse the state of the remaining right side elements remaining right side bulbs okay so let's go to the solutions part so let's start with the main method so in the main method i have written the states like uh, zero off on off on then i am taking the length of that uh, array okay i am taking the length that is n and i'm just printing uh, i'm printing the returning values of this function okay so let's go to the implementation of this function bulbs okay so bulbs are having two arguments that is an array and the length of that array okay so the array is containing only the states of that bulbs okay those bulbs so at first we are running a for loop for uh, from zero to nth element that means the last element of that array and we are checking if the first element or the current element is zero that means if it is off then we are changing the state of that current or that positions element that is a i is equal to one so if this is off then we have to make it on okay and as we have made this on so we have to increase the count so we have to initialize this count variable in count is equal to zero and in the same time we have to increase the count okay increase the count and as we have changed the state of element then we have to change the state of the other remaining elements of the right side so we have to run another for loop which will start from the i plus one okay j is equal to i plus one as we have changed the ith element so we have to start from the i plus one to the nth element that means the last element okay so for the first time from the second element to the last element all the elements all the bulb state will be changed okay so how that is we are going through uh, next element to the last element and we are checking if the current element that means let's say i'm taking this array as reference so 
just uh, okay so at first we have taken this so zero becomes one here okay zero becomes one here now we have to change all the states of these elements these bulbs so we have to go from this element to the last element okay not from this so from one to last so that's why i am iterating from i plus one okay and up to n then we are checking if a j j is i plus one that is this okay so if a j is equal to is equal to one that means if this is equal to already on then make it off and if it is off then make it is on okay so this is very simple task so after that uh, we are going to the next iteration okay we are going to the next iteration and we are checking uh, the i value is one so we are checking if this is zero or one if it is zero or one okay so in the next iteration the values will look like one zero one zero okay so we will check that the ith element so i is equal to one now so i will be zero okay as we have changed the state of this so new values will be these so zero will be the value so that's why it will change the state okay ai is equal to one and it will do as i have told earlier okay for the rest okay so i hope you understood and again if it meets uh, like uh, a, a is equal to a i is equal to zero then it will increase the count okay in this way it will keep increasing the count as soon as it gets a zero occurs okay so after all the iteration it is just returning the count okay so i hope you understood if it is still confusing then please let me know in the comment section or you can dm me at page id or you can join our telegram channel t.me slash webcanna where you can discuss these questions okay and you can get the updates of any other companies okay and you can also discuss the exams questions of accenture or any other companies okay so join t.me slash webcanna okay so let's run it and see if this is giving right output or not okay so uh switches needed four okay and for the last input sorry uh last sample input that is zero sorry one zero 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 so for this the output should be one okay and as expected okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the python solutions okay so the python solutions will be quite same so in this case as well we are getting the same input and n is the length of that uh, array or list and we are just calling the function and let's go to the functions implementation thus uh, the same as we have done in java okay we are running a while loop uh, instead of for loop we are going up to nth element and uh, we have already initialized the i's value as is equal to zero and we are going from the zeroth element to the nth element okay until or unless i becomes equal n it will keep executing okay so while i less than n we are checking if a i that means the current element is equal to is equal to zero that means it is off then we are converting that state okay so zeroth becomes one that means on and also in the in the java we are going from we, we have gone from the i plus one element to the last element so here also we have initialized at first that j is equal to i plus one then we are going from the i plus one to n okay so the same case just little bit uh syntaxual exchange okay so then we are checking if a j is equal to is equal to one then we are changing the state of the right side element okay or if it is a a j is equal to is equal to zero then we are changing a, the, the state as one okay and after all we are count increasing the count as soon as we get that the current element is equal to zero and we are changing this okay that means we have to increase the count so that's all we had done here nothing else nothing rocket science so let's uh run it and see if this is giving right out or not okay as expected okay so for the second sample input actually the questions was asked from the uh g for g okay so you can solve the questions of g for g or or you can solve the problems of lit code as well okay so as expected 
so i hope you found this video helpful so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please subscribe our ub canna channel so that you can get the latest updates of latest questions of accenture okay so thank you for today's session